And when you reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap the corner of thy field, either shalt thou gather the gleaning of thy harvest. Thou shalt leave them for the poor, and for the stranger. I am the Lord your God. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall be a solemn rest unto you, a memorial proclaimed with the blast of horns, a holy convocation. Ye shall do no manner of servile work, and ye shall bring an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Howbeit on the tenth day of this seventh month is the day of atonement, there shall be a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls, and ye shall bring an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And ye shall do no manner of work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement, to make atonement for you before the Lord your God. For whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from his people. And whatsoever soul it be that doeth any manner of work in that same day, that soul will I destroy from among his people. Ye shall do no manner of work, it is a statute forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of solemn rest, and ye shall afflict your souls, in the ninth day of the month at even, from even unto even, shall ye keep your Sabbath. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, On the fifteenth day of the seventh month is the feast of tabernacles for seven days unto the Lord. On the first day shall be a holy convocation, ye shall do no manner of servile work. Seven days ye shall bring an offering made by fire unto the Lord. On the eighth day shall be a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall bring an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a day of solemn assembly. Ye shall do no manner of servile work. These are the appointed seasons of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, to bring an offering made by fire unto the Lord, a burnt offering, and a meal offering, a sacrifice, and drink offerings, each on its own day. Beside the Sabbaths of the Lord, and beside your gifts, and beside all your vows, and beside all your free will offerings, which ye give unto the Lord. Howbeit on the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when ye have gathered in the fruits of the land, ye shall keep the feast of the Lord seven days. On the first day shall be a solemn rest, and on the eighth day shall be a solemn rest. And ye shall take you on the first day the fruit of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, and boughs of thick trees, and willows of the brook, and ye shall rejoice before the Lord your God seven days. And ye shall keep it a feast unto the Lord seven days in the year. It is a statute forever in your generations. Ye shall keep it in the seventh month. Ye shall dwell in booths seven days. All that are homeborn in Israel shall dwell in booths. That your generations may know that I made the children of Israel to dwell in booths, when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. And Moses declared unto the children of Israel the appointed seasons of the Lord. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, that they bring unto thee pure olive oil beaten for the light, to cause a lamp to burn continually. Without the veil of the testimony, in the tent of meeting, shall Aaron order it from evening to morning before the Lord continually. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations. He shall order the lamps upon the pure candlestick before the Lord continually. And thou shalt take fine flour, and bake twelve cakes thereof, two tenth parts of an ephah shall be in one cake. And thou shalt set them in two rows, six in a row, upon the pure table before the Lord. And thou shalt put pure frankincense with each row, that it may be to the bread for a memorial part, even an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Every Sabbath day he shall set it in order before the Lord continually. It is from the children of Israel, an everlasting covenant. And it shall be for Aaron and his sons, and they shall eat it in a holy place. For it is most holy unto him of the offerings of the Lord made by fire, a perpetual dew. And the son of an Israelitish woman, whose father was an Egyptian, went out among the children of Israel. And the son of the Israelitish woman and a man of Israel strove together in the camp. 
and the son of the Israelitish woman blasphemed the name, and cursed, and they brought him unto Moses. And his mother's name was Shelemith, the daughter of Dibri, of the tribe of Dan. And they put him in ward, that it might be declared unto them at the mouth of the Lord. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Bring forth him that hath cursed without the camp, and let all that heard him lay their hands upon his head, and let all the congregation stone him. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, Whosoever curseth his God shall bear his sin. And he that blasphemeth the name of the Lord, he shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall certainly stone him, as well the stranger, as the homeborn, when he blasphemeth the name, shall be put to death. And he that smitteth any man mortally shall surely be put to death. And he that smitteth a beast mortally shall make it good, life for life. And if a man maim his neighbor, as he hath done, so shall it be done to him. Breach for breach, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, as he hath maimed a man, so shall it be rendered unto him. And he that killeth a beast shall make it good, and he that killeth a man shall be put to death. Ye shall have one manner of law, as well for the stranger, as for the homeborn, for I am the Lord your God. And Moses spoke to the children of Israel, and they brought forth him that had cursed out of the camp, and stoned him with stones. And the children of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses. And the Lord spoke unto Moses in Mount Sinai, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land which I give you, then shall the land keep a Sabbath unto the Lord. Six years thou shalt sow thy field, and six years thou shalt prune thy vineyard, and gather in the produce thereof. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of solemn rest for the land, a Sabbath unto the Lord. Thou shalt neither sow thy field, nor prune thy vineyard. That which groweth of itself of thy harvest thou shalt not reap, and the grapes of thy undressed vine thou shalt not gather. It shall be a year of solemn rest for the land. And the Sabbath produce of the land shall be for food for you, for thee, and for thy servant, and for thy maid, and for thy hired servant, and for the settler by thy side that sojourn with thee. And for thy cattle, and for the beasts that are in thy land, shall all the increase thereof be for food. And thou shalt number seven Sabbaths of years unto thee, seven times seven years. And there shall be unto thee the days of seven Sabbaths of years, even forty and nine years. Then shalt thou make proclamation with the blast of the horn on the tenth day of the seventh month. In the day of atonement shall ye make proclamation with the horn throughout all your land. And ye shall hallow the fiftieth year, and proclaim liberty throughout the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return every man unto his possession, and ye shall return every man unto his family. A jubilee shall that fiftieth year be unto you. Ye shall not sow, either reap that which groweth of itself in it, nor gather the grapes in it of the undressed vines. For it is a jubilee, it shall be holy unto you, ye shall eat the increase thereof out of the field. In this year of jubilee ye shall return every man unto his possession. And if thou sell aught unto thy neighbor, or buy of thy neighbor's hand, ye shall not wrong one another. According to the number of years after the jubilee thou shalt buy of thy neighbor, and according unto the number of years of the crops he shall sell unto thee. According to the multitude of the years thou shalt increase the price thereof, and according to the fewness of the years thou shalt diminish the price of it, for the number of crops doth he sell unto thee. 